Hey everybody, Rich with Prep You down here in the glorious bunker. Um, today, we bring you another tip from the range. We've all been there, we've all taken somebody to the range that has never shot before. They don't know what to do. You know, hopefully you've given them a little bit of presentation ahead of time. Uh, the range is really a hard place to figure a lot of things out. Uh, but hey, we all do it. You know, we just, you know, kind of say, hey, Steve, you want to come to the range? Hey, Julie, you want to come to the range and do some shooting? Or they say, boy, you know, never shot a gun before. What's it like? <laughs> Let's go. You grab your stuff, you go, you get to the range. And the first question you ask them, which eye is your dominant eye? And they look at you like, what? Your dominant eye, you know, the one that, you know, everything's, you know, locked into at a distance and all that kind of stuff. And they look at you like you got a third eye right here, you know, on top of your head. You go, I, I don't know. So then you have to find out what is their dominant eye. Teach them which is their dominant eye because some people are left-handed and have left eye dominant. Some people are right-handed and right eye dominant. Some people like me are left eye, left-handed right eye dominant so it's kind of strange you just over time you just kind of work with it but so the old way or the most common way is people say well you know make a triangle fixate on something and then close one eye and which one doesn't move that's your dominant eye well the other day in the range i had completely forgot about this this method thousand percent easy er foolproof whatsoever small little circle fix it on a on an object and say keep that object in the circle and bring your eye back bring your hand back to your eye huh went right to my left eye see it, it can't go to my right eye if i'm keeping that object and the smaller the circle the better off i am or better off you are so that's your range tip because let's face it, it all works off of that. If you've got somebody right-handed, okay, or even left-handed, has never shot before, that is the time to change. If they're right-handed but left eye dominant, get them on the left side. Because what's going to happen is if they're left eye dominant and they got right at it, they're going to do this. And they're going to close that eye and they're going to, okay... Well, that's totally uncomfortable. Bring the right eye up. Now they're straight up and down. You know, um, we won't get into how to hold the firearm or whatever. That's a tip for another day. Although, take a look at some of our other videos. Because when you subscribe, oh, kind of like subliminal messaging, isn't it? When you subscribe, you can, you know, check out all the videos. We talk about all the different things. And you find out when the new ones are. So, subscribe now. Click it now. Hit the button. And ring the bell but anyhow we're not going to talk about hand position and all that kind of stuff if the, you find out their dominant eye it's going to be so much easier they're not going to cross look or whatever and you can train them right off the bat how to shoot so that's it that is how to find out which one's your dominant eye and do that first before you do anything else and if you're already a seasoned shooter do you know what your dominant eye is you might be surprised but if you're shooting with a red dot, both eyes are open. We don't worry about that because you want that peripheral because uh, you're a little bit more advanced and stuff like that. Even if you're using the iron sight, some people shoot with both eyes open. Hey, if it works for you, it works for you. You know, there's no tried and true way of doing it. So that's about it. I hope this helps. I hope this helps the people that you are training to shoot or uh, bringing into the shooting world, which we appreciate. Believe me, we totally appreciate it. But as we always say, always be aware of your surroundings. Always have enough food on hand, whether you bug out or shelter in place. And please, prep like your life depends on it, because it really does. Thanks a lot. See you next time. And don't forget, just bring that circle in and you find out your dominant eye. There you go. All right. Take care. See you soon.